video, let us look at some microbiology spotters from culture media. Okay. So basically here, let us start off with a simple media. Here you are looking at what? Peptone water. Okay. There is peptone water here. So peptone water, uh, basically here uh, only non-fastidious organisms will grow. This is a simple liquid media. Here there will be peptone with sodium uh, chloride solution. Okay. Basically non-fastidious organisms will grow here because they don't need any special nutrition. This is a primary media, okay, you can say. Then uh, to this you can add carbohydrates, uh, you know, etc. for checking for sugar fermentation test, okay. You can use this to do bacterial subculture. Then you can use this uh, to make the, uh, you know, you can make it alkaline. So peptone water will become alkaline peptone water which you will use in Vibrio. Now look at this one. This is nutrient broth. To the same peptone water they added meat and became it became nutrient broth, okay. So this is a basal media. Right, and uh, there are a lot of nutrient broths like you have meat digested broth, meat infusion broth, right, you have meat extract broth, you have yeast extract broth, so many things are there, but this is nutrient nutrient broth. This guy says agar agar, so basically it is a white colored powder, okay, it is available as fibers called china grass, it is a solidifying agent for preparing solid media, okay. So basically it is obtained from seaweeds called gelidium. Its melting point is around 95 degrees centigrade and it solidifies at 42 degrees centigrade. 2% of agar you will use for creating solid media. If you want semi-solid media then you add 0.5% of agar. If you want to inhibit the swarming of proteus bacteria you can use 5% agar. So here is the white colored agar agar. Now let us look at nutrient agar. What is this nutrient agar? So basically you will take nutrient broth. To that you will add that 2% agar. Right. Then you will be, you will get nutrient agar. So this is solid. So here you are adding 2% agar. You have understood that. So it is a basal media again for cultivating non-fastidious organs. Because organisms. Because whatever we are discussing currently are simple media. Right. So basically um, if you reduce uh, the agar concentration it will become semi-solid media. Right, that time you can check for motility and all in semi-solid media. So example you can give here in nutrient agar if you put Staphylococcus aureus what will happen? You will get yellow colored colonies because of carotenoid pigment. Okay. Guys, so we are done with this uh, simple media. Let's move on now to, okay, we are moving to enriched media. This is blood agar. Then you have one more enriched media, chocolate agar. And then you have even Leuter serum slope. We'll come to that first, learn about uh, blood agar. So basically this is uh, showing, uh, you can show hemolytic properties of bacteria. Remember you can show hemolysis uh, in what? Streptococcus, all that you can see, right? Beta hemolysis. In this usually the sheep or horse blood will be there. Now look at this one, this is chocolate agar. Basically you will see, this is how is it made? Basically uh, blood itself but it is heated and cooled. Okay, heated to 75 degrees and cooled. So basically then what will happen, the RVCs will rupture and then the nutrients are liberated. So that is why it will become this kind of chocolate colored, okay. Same blood only, they have heated and put it, that's all, okay. So to this chocolate agar only, they will add the potassium telluride and it will become potassium telluride medium. There you will grow Corvini bacterium diphtheria. But as such, chocolate agar where you will use only chocolate agar, you will use for... Uh, for helicobacter, we have seen this, right? You can use it for a lot of bacteria, guys. This is Leuffler serum slope. Basically, this is used for isolation of Corvini bacterium diphtheria. Diphtheria. Okay, it contains nutrient broth with serum and glucose. Okay. It is sterilized by serum in pisator. We are done with enriched media. Now look at this, uh, this is enrichment, that's why it's liquid here, selenite F broth. So F actually refers to feces, okay. So that's why you will use it for isolation of salmonella, shigella, etc. Okay, so basically it inhibits the coliform bacteria, only the salmonella, shigella will grow. This is an enrichment media. Now let's move to selective media. Selective media are solid, that's all, nothing difference here. Selective media are going to be solid. They will also have some inhibitory substances like the enrichment media. Enrichment was, guys, enrichment was 
with the inhibitory but it was liquid then you have selective now which is solid okay so enrichment you have finished you're not able to see this color wait so basically you have seen enrichment right enrichment you saw in that it was liquid now you are seeing selective which is solid in enrichment you saw selenite f broth so potassium telluride media this is potassium telluride media basically it is used for growth of corvinibacterium diphtheria we told you for chocolate agar you will add potassium telluride right then it will become uh, uh, potassium telluride media right so basically there will be black colonies here of corvinibacterium diphtheria you have understood that right then basically there can be daisy head colony and frogs egg colony there are different types of colonies here so gravis type will give daisy head colony and intermediate type will give frog egg colony then there's one more type which will give poached egg colonies now let us look at the next selective media here that is lj media that is lavenstein jensen media so basically here this will have what and all you should know very important this media is because it is used to grow what mycobacterium tuberculosis right so basically it contains egg melachite green you can see green here melachite green is there egg will be there uh, melachite green is a selective agent then you can have asparagine mineral salts glycerol mineral salts will be there glycerol asparagine egg will be there remember it is also sterilized by inspissation the ph of this medium is 6.9 so for lg medium the ph is 6.9 it's almost neutral very slightly just acidic mycobacterium tuberculosis the bacteria here it will form rough tough buff colored colonies okay whereas the bovine strains will will have smooth colonies look at this one tcbs that is thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar tcbs this is basically used for what vibrio so basically sucrose fermenting bacteria for vibrio cholerae you will use this there will be yellow colored colonies on this okay so basically it's a selective media for vibrio species it inhibits all the other bacteria so basically sucrose fermenting bacteria will form yellow colored colonies because you know the s here tcbs thiosulfate Uh, citrate bile salt sucrose this s is sucrose so if it is fermenting sucrose it will become yellow otherwise it will remain green okay another selective media here wilson blair bismuth sulfite media now basically wbbs like mbbs this is wbbs right just make that m ulta it will become wbbs you understood no like mbbs here you have wilson blair bismuth sulfite media so basically this is used for salmonella right wilson blair so remember the uh, salmonella typhi will uh, cause black color colonies here so salmonella typhi jet black uh, col colonies because of what uh, because it will produce uh, h2s right salmonella typhi even para typhi b will produce uh, uh, h2s so that will also give black color colonies however salmonella para typhi a will not release uh, hydrogen sulfide so it will give green color colonies okay so what in all does this have obviously it has bismuth ammonium citrate uh, sodium sulfate sulfide sorry sodium sulfide lot of things are there this glucose brilliant green is there in this in this media okay what in all are there bismuth ammonium citrate sodium sulfite ferric citrate glucose brilliant green okay so this is wilson blair bismuth sulfite agar so we have looked at some selective media selective media what and all you saw potassium telluride you saw then you saw wilson blair bismuth sulfite then you saw tcbs then you saw uh, lj media right so many media you have seen in selective guys now let us move on to some differential media This is cled agar CLED cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar so you can see LED means electrolyte deficient cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar basically this is um, it is non inhibitory it says uh, it is used for the isolation and differentiation of urinary organisms okay so basically again here lactose is there so lactose fermenters you can identify 
So basically, it is electros, um, electrolyte deficient. So you will use it to prevent the swarming of proteus species. Okay. So here you have a, a blue indicator. It is bromothymol blue. Oops. Bromothymol blue. Bromothymol blue indicator is there. Okay. So basically, you can know lactose fermenters. Okay. Now coming to McConkie agar, basically enterobacteriaceae uh, like uh, E. coli etc. They, they, here they will form nice pink colored colonies. Okay. So again this is uh, McConkie has what, what will it show? It will show lactose fermenters. Right. So basically uh, what does it contain? It contains peptone, it contains agar, it contains lactose. Obviously it show lactose fermenters so it contains lactose. Then it has a neutral red color uh, here, neutral red and taurocholate it has. Milk agar, basically milk agar is a solid media. Again, you can see here, of course, it is solid. So in this milk will be there with nutrient agar, just same nutrient agar to which milk is there. Okay, here you can use this for staphylococcus, remember. So basically the color difference will be there, uh, which you can see prominently. Staphylococcus, remember, okay, staphylococcus, milk agar. Now let us look at some different uh, special type of uh, media, okay. This is a blood culture broth. It's also called as, what is this called as? Blood culture broth only, guys. They are saying it contains brain heart infusion broth. Okay. So basically this you have to know. Brain heart infusion broth you have seen in which one? Castendas media and all that. Hold on. For salmonella, right? Salmonella typhi, you will use all this. This one is anaerobic media, Robertson cooked meat media. So basically it contains cooked meat, okay, in nutrient broth, you will add cooked meat and cooked meat uh, contains reducing substances like glutathione which uh, maintains the anaerobic environment, okay. So anaerobic environment you will uh, maintain by putting this cooked meat which will have glutathione, okay. So basically the um, you will use it for clostridium species because they are all anaerobic bacteria, okay. So saccharolytic activity of the bacteria is indicated by the change in color of the meat particles to red. Okay, proteolytic activity is indicated by the change in color of the meat particle to black. So proteolytic means it will become black, saccharolytic means it will become red. Now let us look at yet another very special media, Sabarod's dextrose agar. This is used actually for uh, culturing fungi. Sabarod's dextrose agar. So just look at this. So it is used to isolate fungi, it will have uh, high sugar content, it can have uh, uh, inhibitory substances to inhibit bacteria growth, okay. So it will have high sugar, it will have a low pH, just 5.4. So basically it can have antibiotics like cyclohexamide, right, chloramphenicol, so all these are antibiotics. So they will stop the growth of bacteria, right, and... Uh, is used for isolation of dermatophytes. You can use it for candida, then what is cryptococcus neoformans, so many things. So actually if you know the dermatophytes, they will give a white colored colony. Aspergillus niger will give black color, but reverse will be white. Then uh, cryptococcus candida, they'll be creamy white, okay. Creamy yellow or whatever you can see. White will be usually dermatophytos, dermatophytes. Lastly, let us look at this one, antibiotic sensitivity test. Finally, all the lab diagnosis will end with this antibiotic sensitivity testing because you need to know, finally, you know the organism, you should know what it is sensitive to. Then only you should prescribe the antibiotic. So, antibiotic abuse will not be there. So, you know what it is sensitive to, only that antibiotic you can prescribe. So, basically, isolation and identification of clinically significant bacteria should be followed by antibiotic sensitivity testing. Okay. So basically this is disc diffusion method, kribi bauer technique this is, okay. Basically the medium used is the Muller-Hinton agar, right. So uh, what will be happen? Discs impregnated with various antibiotics are placed on the medium, that is the Muller-Hinton agar, right. And you will see the growth, See, so basically here the growth is inhibited, right, around this. So basically the bacteria sensitive to these antibiotics. However, here the bacteria is able to grow. So the bacteria is resistant to that antibiotic. This is actually a very nice picture but because of antibiotic abuse now everything has become like this. All the bacteria are growing. Bacteria are not at all sensitive now.
So guys, in this video, we looked at many cultured media spotters for microbiology practicals. We looked at simple media, enriched media, enrichment media, selective media, differential media, anaerobic media, fungi, what you will use, and antibiotic sensitivity testing, what type of uh, basically media you will use. Okay. So you have understood, right? Simple means what and all you saw. You saw peptone, water, nutrient, broth, nutrient, agar, etc. Enriched, you saw blood, chocolate. Enrichment, you saw selenite, at broth. Selective, you saw uh, WBBS, TCBS, potassium, telluride, LJ media. Differential, you saw see, cled, mekonki, aerobic, you saw Robertson cooked meat media for clostridium. Fungi SDA, Sabarot, Dextrose, Agar, there you will have peptone with Dextrose, right, with some antibiotics. Then you saw antibiotic sensitivity testing on Muller, Hinton, Agar. So let's meet in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.